So it's been just over three months now, hasn't it, since we moved on to the boat? Yes, we, so we moved thought... on to um, the to traditional narrow boat, isn't it? Reverse layout tradition. No, no. <laughs> It's a cruiser stern. Oh, it's a cruiser stern. To narrow boat, reverse layout. Yes, cruiser stern, yeah. narrow boat, reverse yeah. layout. This is that's yeah. the type we wanted because we'd done mm -hmm. a lot of um, looking and hearing, listening to people talking about their boats. And I remember um, one time um, David from Cruising the Cut. He said mm. he if he was getting a uh, if he was going to change, he would look for reverse layout with a. Mm. a cruiser stern and I thought and he talked about the reasons it's a good idea and they're exactly the same reasons we we think of so but they're not they're not um that common I mean the, no. the most common type is the traditional mm. uh, stern which is a tiny little area at the back mm. where you can operate the tiller uh, and then you walk down into the bedroom Yes. And then you, you get your lounge at the front. Mm. But ours is the other way around, so we've got quite a large deck at the back, mm. which is the cruiser stern. There's one in the middle they call the semi-trad, mm. which uh, is a bit more open at the back, but it's not... Um, it, it sort of get closed in when you shut the door. So, um, But then um, our kitchen is at the back, mm. at, near the... Um, cruiser stern where we operate the tiller and and uh, the the engine throttle Cause the morse control as they call it the front door <clears throat> of the boat really leads into our bedroom but most mm. don't really use the front door no uh, I'd, well, I'd only probably use the deck for we'd use it more in the summer we'd have it yeah. open and be just to sit out there as well but this is definitely the best way because when we are cruising, when that happy day comes, uh, <laughs> and well, we can uh, set out from the marina. Oh, I bet there'll be loads of people. It'll mm. be like a, it'll be like people having champagne. Won't that be a happy day when not only we can like cruise? I mean, other people can do whatever they want to do, mm. whatever they've been waiting to so, do. It'd be lovely. So mm. I wanted to. Um, as we've been on the boat for three months, mm. it, it's our first boat, yep. for those of you who are not quite sure. Mm. Um, we've we lived in our motorhome for years, and we thought, right, okay, for, for various reasons, oh. we want a narrow boat. We've always wanted one, yep, so always. now was a good time. But this is our very first narrow boat. Mm. Not the first time on a narrow boat, but we, our first ownership yes. and our first winter on a narrow boat. Yes. So there's a few things that we sort of, I, I suppose, wish we'd known beforehand. Mm. You know, there's nothing like experience, is there? No, nothing. So. <laughs> you can't, nothing. There's nothing that could compare me for the coldness in the morning before we've lit the fire. <laughs> yes, well, that, yeah. That's the thing that I, no one could have told me. So it, so it seems obvious, yes. doesn't it, when you think about it, mm. that you've got a steel tube mm. for the boat. It's made all, completely all made of steel yeah. with a little bit of insulation on the inside and then wood. So mm. it, it's got wood cladding on, on the inside mm. all through. Um, and that is partially immersed in freezing cold canal water. Well... Of course it's going to be cold. Mm. Well, you sort of don't... I know it's obvious mm. when you think about it, but it isn't obvious when you when you don't think about it and you think, oh, what a lovely thing to, to live on a boat. Mm. So, <laughs> you know, I think, I think various people have wondered what the hell we thought we were doing when we bought this particular boat. Mm. But we were on a budget, so we we set our budget mm. um, quite low. Um, so this boat is quite old; it's twenty twenty one years old now, and uh, it fitted our budget. And more importantly, it was the correct type of boat. So cruiser stern, 
reverse layout, mm. kitchen next to the next to the stern deck, mm. then the lounge, then the bathroom, and then the bedroom, and a nicely laid out what they call cratch deck or well deck at the front. So completely the right layout, yeah. <clears throat> the right price, and in reasonably good condition for its age. So although although there's you know there's lots of bits and pieces to do it's not that bad is it nope it, you know. oh no everything's fine we can look we could be here and do absolutely nothing because mm. it's kitted out for people to live aboard it in fact it came mm. with everything we needed I fully think, furnished really it was i, th wasn't I it? think the the only thing that yes um we had to do mm. was replace the leisure batteries or the house batteries because there the, are the three lead acid oh, batteries yes. yeah. and they were pretty much mm. shot. I mean, they, you know, they, they needed charging up every, every 12 hours. Mm. <laughs> so, so I'm glad that we took all the, all the uh, lithium battery and inverter off the van mm. and put it in here. And that's all now installed and working and all the lights work nicely. The water pump doesn't slow down. <laughs> So, <coughs> so, so that's the only thing mm. we absolutely had to do, and that's done. Everything else is is pretty much okay. Um, we do that. We were we're very happy having the coal fire, and I wouldn't mm. we wouldn't want to get rid of it or anything. But it's just a bit of a shock having spent the last winters in Spain in the warmth. It's been a bit of a shock to us to wake well, up in a cold cold bedroom like that and it does you know with the best will in the world we're learning more about the mm. fire how mm. to, how to keep it going overnight and things like that and so, so it it doesn't at the moment we're still learning but sometimes we get so hot <laughs> so well, hot you can't control the temperature terribly well we get very hot and, well we were yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we're sitting in the lounge and we're we're actually quite you know we're about five or six feet mm. maybe ten feet away from the from the fire itself mm. and we're so hot yeah. we have to strip down to t-shirts you know um mm. And maybe open the back door yeah. to let some heat out. Mm. There's no... Because we can't sort of move away. If, you, if you're in a home, you can move right away from the fire. Well, we suppose we could move through to the galley area, but mm. then we're not, we've not. got nice chairs by the fire. So, <laughs> <laughs> But I know I'm not really moaning, but that's no. the only thing I have to say that you don't think about when you're buying a narrow boat. I think when that... we're buying this narrow boat, we didn't think about it. I think that's so... more... Mm. It, that's more about our yes. inexperience mm. of how to how to operate mm. yeah. a um, multi fuel fuel or solid fuel stove. Yeah. Um, it's difficult to know how much coal to put on mm. to give you a certain amount of heat <laughs> over the next five hours. Yeah. Yeah, because that's that's essentially what we're doing. You know, um, we light the fire. Sometimes we light it in the morning if it's a particularly cold day. Light it first thing. Yeah, we'll keep it out. going all yeah. day. But um, today it's not so cold, so we haven't lit the fire. Um, but I'll light it. Um, we've got to go out for a walk a bit later on, so I'll light it before we go out and make sure it's going. So that when we come back from mm. the cold walk, it'll be nice and mm. cosy. Mm. So that'll be all right. But then, you know, that might be about five or six o'clock. Mm. So then we want the fire to go for the next four, five, six hours. Um, at a at a moderate temperature, and it's very difficult to know. You know, if I put a lot of coal on, the heat tends to build and build and build over time. But so by about half past eight, we're thinking blooming hell. <laughs> so I'm I'm still trying to get yeah, used to that. Nurse, yeah, how do yeah, you, you know, got nurse how do you, fire and learn by how do you control it? Because I think each <clears> stove's <throat> a little bit differently. Ours doesn't have a back boiler, so we we heat our water either by running the engine yeah. or we can plug as we're plugged into shoreline we can use the electric immersion. Yeah. 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 
So, so you know, occasionally we'll run the the immersion, and occasionally we'll run yeah. the engine just mm. to keep keep hot water yeah. going, so that we can, you know, wash comfortably um, yeah. in in hot or warm water. So, what I would say is, on the hot water front, it's a it's a real pain because um, in houses we've had, you turn the hot water tap on, and the hot water will never never run out because mm. it, it gets heated by the I think they're called combination combo boilers, um, and they just heat the water as they, as it comes through, which is great. Ours and ours is a tank. I'm not quite sure. I think it's 55 liters, which is not a lot. Um, 55 liters of of hot water that gets heated by the immersion or a hot water from the engine that that uh, the cooling mm. water. So uh, if you if you have a shower, you're limited. Mm. Um, and it doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem to last. No. As long as the one in the van lasted. No. Because I, you know, I think the the shower in the in the van, which had a lot less water in it. Yeah. Twenty liters, I think. But um, the water, cold water in the van, wasn't as cold as it is here, because we, you know, the the water storage tank is right out the front in a steel tank that effectively is the is the bow of the boat mm. so that bow section is a water tank so the water tank is sort of um mm. pyramid shaped if you like mm. sort of at the front and it goes down and and slims at the bottom and that is absolutely freezing yeah. cold mm. Of course, it won't be so freezing cold in the summer, summer no, it'll be because that it'll be the steel will heat, heat up, up quite, mm. quite a bit, and the the water will just gently warm mm. through. So it won't be freezing cold water. And you um, can only this when you get the water hot. There's only enough for one quick shower, and then you've got mm. to wait. Oh, then you've got to heat the water again. You've got to heat the water again for some more hot water. So for the engine, this yes, time of year. Yeah. For the engine mm. to heat a tank of water enough yeah. for a shower, yeah. you've got to run it for two hours. Yeah, and that's very noisy, yeah. sitting in the boat with the engine running. And yeah. perhaps annoying for our neighbours too, you know. To, well, we're in a marina and so, it's sort of expected. Yeah, so but, we just run you know, it. We run, sure. And it doesn't keep hot forever, so we just usually run it in the daytime, you know, so we could we can have a shower at funny times, yeah, yeah. not... Yeah. Not first thing in the morning because right. you can't run the hot water then, and you can't do it. It's a it's a good time. Late. So that's the only things that I'm saying. I I didn't know about. Or I didn't even think about. So excited getting the boat, mm -hmm. but I can't think of anything else that I found to be um, not lovely living on this boat for mm. the winter. That's the only things, yeah. and they're only minor things. They're only and, minor things, and uh, they can be sorted out and get used to them. And we have got yeah. we have got an electric heater mm. in the bedroom. Yes. So we put that on if it's really cold. In yeah, the morning, we put when that we on. wake up and it's so cold. And when um, we say it's so cold, we mean there's ice on the inside of the windows. Yeah, yes. the the windows occasionally. Yeah. Two or three times now yes, during this yeah. winter, the yeah, whole the whole glass of the window has been ice. ice. You could scrape it off. Yeah. Just, um. So, so, so it's, it's gone below got, freezing in the bedroom. Yes. Um, and but, when it's that know. cold, we know it's really cold because Pippin comes down <laughs> under. She scrapes at the top of the duvet and she comes un, under the duvet and lies with us. <laughs> she walks up between us mm, and, and down. turns round on the pillows and mm. then mm. gets under <laughs> and, and crawls down. So we know then it's cold. And I'm and glad she does that because yeah. she's like a little hot water bottle <laughs> for us. <laughs> she is. Yeah. Oh dear Pippin, eh? But yeah, you know, so yeah. we're we're really happy mm. Mm. Um, yes, with the boat. Else. Yeah. And um there isn't Yeah. There isn't anything really we changed. We've put more storage in. Yes. Yeah. Um we've bought the we've bought the, the two Calax units yeah. from IKEA. Um one there as we're using as a sort of bookshelfy thing with some cupboards and drawers and, and open shelves. And one 
in the kitchen that we've turned on its side and put a worktop on top, mm. um, which which is working beautifully well, um, mm. gives us a lot more space. So there isn't really anything else. I I, no. I think um, I think I've really enjoyed seeing the nature mm. and the water and. Mm. The niceness and the companionship and the friendship of living on this marina has been, even in these times, has been really wonderful. You've really felt you can, you're as happy and safe as you can mm. be, and I think we are very blessed. We really are yeah. blessed to have bought this lovely boat and to and be found here. And found yeah. this, yes, a, a, mm. a really, really mm. nice marina. Yep. And, mm. well... The yeah. staff are really great, yeah. um, really helpful and um, mm. very friendly. Mm. And the the other really good thing is that everybody else, and there's there's about 35 other boats that are live aboard here, and they're all really mm. friendly yeah. and really yeah. nice. It's like a it's like a nice little gated community. Yes, you speak um, to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and when and it, but when you leave the marina, it's more difficult because we stand. If someone's coming, we stand well away to the side. Well, you know what it's like. You do, and you might just say hello. But I think um, it's more difficult to nowadays. We don't perhaps talk to people we meet as much as we would have done. And in the shops, you don't really talk to people. You're on a mission. <laughs> so, well, but well, here, living here, so I'm thankful. Yes. The, before we came up, we were we were down in Sussex, mm. and I was uh, I was in home base uh, buying some bits and pieces, some uh, some tools I was buying, and uh, I saw um, somebody from our extended family who we know quite well. Um, it's our daughter and our daughter-in-laws. Sister's husband. Uh, yeah. So our daughter-in-law's sister's husband, he works in home base. And, of course, I had my hat on and, and a mask up like this. And I said, oh, <laughs> hello, Alan. And he said, oh, uh, hello, who are you? He Because I had my hat on, he could only see this. He didn't recognise me. So I had to take my mask off. And he said, oh! <laughs> so, so then he recognised me and, and we, had a, we had a nice chat. Because um, I hadn't seen him for ages. But um, that's the difficulty, isn't it, when, in these days? If you, you're walking down the street, and even if you're in a, in a town or village where you know lots of people, you might not, no. you might not know that you know them. With the, you know, if they've got a hat and a mask on, maybe. It is difficult. It is difficult. It does make things more difficult mm. in these times. So we're looking forward to um, when I, there's a mask free environment <laughs> that we can wander around in. I think, and I think, too, good. talking about the expenses quickly, of we'll perhaps go into it more detail another time, but we just have to pay the mooring fees and any electricity we use is. Is done by a meter. Yeah. We pay how much is it? To, is it it no, work. It, there's nine. there's a there's fifteen pence plus a little standing charge yeah. on top, so it comes out nineteen, 19 pence in nineteen pence per unit. Yeah. Kill, is that, and, what does that say? Kilowatt? Do they say? Oh, I have no idea. But what anyway, unit is. so you know <laughs> you can work it out if you want to look every week how much but, electric you've used. Oh use yeah. So we've like we've that. got a meter mm. that we own. Yeah. Um, so when we go away from this marina, yeah. we'll take that meter Meet, with yes. us. We can ask them to read it and make a note on the date yeah. so that they can mm. make sure the invoicing is right. And then mm. um, when we come back, we just mm. plug it in, so we're back, yeah. they can read it, and if it's the same, that's fine. Mm. Um, so we've got that not, expense. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing we have, because we've only got gas to cook on so yeah. we have got the gas and we can buy the gas here yeah and um, in fact we buy the gas here and also we buy the coal here and the kindling here yeah yes yeah 
So um, no problem in getting those supplies. Yeah, through through the through the winter, mm. and you know, using as much coal as we want to, as mm. we need to. Yeah, um, we won't go cold with the coal fire. No, I mean that's one thing. One thing we've we've yeah. said always mm. that we're we're not going to skimp on the heating because it makes for a very very dismal life. Yes, if you're cold. Um, so one bag of coal, which is eleven pound fifty, lasts us uh, six six and a bit days. So mm -hmm. we open a new bag of coal every six days. So a bag of coal a mm -hmm. week about yep um, is what we use. So and how, was that how, twenty forty six how, how pounds? Much is... About about I suppose yeah. it's about forty five. 45 to 50 pounds a month on coal mm. in the winter. Mm. So that's going to be three or four months. Mm. But it, it, now, I know we've got a big a big chunk of snow coming over the next yeah. few days, but um, mm. from now on, we're using less coal because I, I, know, I know we've got loads of coal left in the bucket and um, maybe a quarter of a bag left outside. Mm before we open a new bag and we're already on six days so this that bag of coal is going to last us seven or eight or nine days um so so we'll be using less coal as we go on uh for the next few months until we get down to oh well, we're not lighting the fire at all because it's no. just warm some some people ha light the fire always because mm. it heats the hot water but we don't have yeah. that system so, so we don't. That's why yeah. we wouldn't do it. Light it all year round. Well, that's something so that that's I was thinking things. about. Yeah. Is mm. maybe changing the stove to have a back boiler, but that would mean we'd have to change the hot water tank to give us the back mm. boiler inputs because that it's only got one mm. for the engine mm. coil, and then it would need another one. So we'd have to change the the. They call it a calorifier, um, the hot water tank. And the stove, but I, what I'm thinking now is maybe we wouldn't change the stove because if you wanted hot water in the summer, you have to light the stove. It's madness, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe we'll get um, a diesel heater that does that, um, pushes the the hot water through the um, calorifier. So I know you can get them. Um, but you know, we we'll, we can think about that because normally, if mm. we are at this marina, they've got beautiful. They'll have the beautiful showers open, and they've even got a bath. Mm. So we've, <laughs> we've well, that's at, at no cost because we more here. So that will be absolutely, you know, things will be different. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So and they of uh, course everything uh, shut up this they're, time. <laughs> they're all brand new. They've literally. Mm. Yeah, yeah. They mm. just finished. Mm. They just finished building them last mm. month like they've mm. been they've been yeah. there working on and off and and dotted around mm. the marina they've got um wheelbarrows and trolleys so you know when you go up to the office to get the coal or sticks yeah. you just take the barrel with take you the and then up, you can they put the coal in um and, and then, then you wheel it back we trundle it along to the Pontoon, and I can, you know, we can and... fit the wheelbarrow right down next to the boat, mm. and then just open up. Mm. We keep the coal in the mm. well deck at the mm. at the front, bow at the yeah. front of the boat, the sharp end. Mm. And, we, and we then use the also we use the wheelbarrows is when we t empty the um, cassette toilet and we take it up to the else and that's near the o next to the office as well. We won't be doing so that. that. So that's when we you, we won't we be do doing that, that soon. Yeah, In about three weeks' time, mm. we'll be getting a waterless or composting toilet mm. from the lovely people at Simplu. Simply poo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so that, we, we won't talk that. about that now, but we're no, going to we'll look tell you about show that. that and everything. Yes. Um, a bit nearer the time. Yeah. So I think that's about. We better. Mm. We can talk more another time, but I think this is long enough well, for now, we, and people we, will get bored with us. Well, we just wanted. Yes. I just wanted to give people a bit yeah, of an update we on yeah, how we're we feeling. Yes. Um, about being on the boat, because mm. I know some people have worried yeah. that we're 
you know, that it always looks cold on the boat. Yes, yeah. Actually, you know, we're sitting here now yeah. and, we're, and we're quite warm. It's just, yeah. it, it's just well, ordinary it's, here. It's not, well, not yeah, a look, naturally cold environment. No, it's, um, um it, no, we you know. find it's 14 degrees and we're yeah. sitting, though we've got jumpers on. Yeah. I mean, I know like when we go to our children's houses, they don't, I don't think they possess <laughs> things like this. They always are in shorts and t-shirts and nothing on their feet, but and, we're <laughs> and, the, and the heating turned up high because yeah, yeah. they don't seem yeah this warm and they don't wear yeah. much <laughs> <laughs> well, oh I my god i guess it's the way isn't it the way of, of the modern <laughs> yeah, life yeah. anyway that's thank um, you thank you for watching us yeah yes thank so you very much that's how yeah. we are yeah um thank you mm. we are we're a little bit peed off with the lockdown um but that you know that's mm. another story but there we are. So yeah. we're all, all good. Um, yeah. We hope you are yes, please. all faring well yeah. during this um, difficult mm. time for us all. I know mm. I know some people out there are suffering, so... Yeah. Um, and ask, you can ask you well. us anything if yeah. you want to ask us some questions. Oh, yeah. We'll do a question yeah. and answer, tell you more. We've, but, you know, we're happy to show you things around the boat and to I've still just got, talk about it. I've still yeah. got four questions we haven't answered from yeah. the last... Oh. Yeah. One, so we might do <laughs> so that in the next that. video. Yeah, I yeah. can show you what's stacked up behind you. <laughs> One time. <laughs> what's stacked up behind? Look, me? all that up there. No. Oh. <laughs> they think people are saying, "What the hell well, is all that?" Yeah. Well, they <laughs> anyway, we won't. <laughs> that. They're not seeing. That. No, they can't see it. No, I know. No. Then they would. They yeah. can't see what you're. Looking no, at. no, they can't see all that <laughs> up there. And why we up so high? Anyway, no. we're gonna. What we're we gonna say now? Well. Yes. We're going to say thanks so yes, much. We are. Um, if you if you do have any questions, yeah. just pop them in the comments mm. below, and don't forget, um, give us a big thumbs up. Yes, do that. Uh, yeah. That's really important for us. Yeah. And if you really like what we do and yeah. you want to see more of it, subscribe. Why don't you? Mm. Mm. We'll see you again. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. Bye bye for now. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.